We have to respect nature and we have to consider nature. We cannot be above it or outside of nature. We're part of it. against anything. I'm not trying to destroy anything. I want to make a new environment that will make the previous environment obsolete. It's one thing to demonstrate and to uh, protest and to burn a bank and there's another thing to go and to make a farm with natural farming and to build your own house and to teach people how to do it and to so th there's another path and what we create, and when I say we, I mean everybody together, then we won't need banks. Free and real is when every action is out of love. We wake up in the morning and the, the things you do, you do because you want to do them, not because you have to do them. And not because you won't get paid if you do it. It's what, you do what you desire. We like to have a simple life. We don't want too many extravaganza. Uh, at the same time, we don't want to go back to the 19th century. So, this is my headquarters. This building was, was here when I came, but uh, everything else we need, it's constructed by hands. You have computers here? Yes, of course. We are for technology. We think technology is a good thing, it's evolution. For me, nothing has a negative value by itself. Nothing is negative when it is born. It's how you use it. Even for money, this, this applies. Like many people say, money is evil, the root of all evil. But in fact, money is one of the most amazing tools that has allowed humankind to evolve to where we are now. Those guys, yes. the people there, they are participating in a three-day workshop yeah. about uh, Tai Chi. 99% of the people find us through the internet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm David. I'm from Spain. The last week I was working as a robotics engineer, uh, but I quit my job. I decided that uh, I needed a change. I think I managed my life so that I could have uh, time to search about something else because I wanted, I had a need to find some a different way of life. We are a family here, and the, why we are doing this? The first reason is health. Why we want help? To have more time to be creative and create new environments. When I see you smoke, it makes me sad. Because I see what you are doing to yourself. It's not that I get mad. We eat a raw vegetarian meal every day. There are many reasons why we eat like this. It makes sense for health. It makes sense economic-wise. It makes sense self-sufficiently. It makes sense uh, ecologically. It makes sense ethically. Everybody who comes, we create amazing, amazing bonds, amazing relationships. So people that spend one month here and then maybe they go on with their lives. But after one month, if you still want to come here, then you're right for this project. You're a match. Over the years, there's been hundreds of people involved in one way or the other. So this is a very dynamic project where people come and go all the time. I've met so many people in this one year that I would have never met in my previous life. Everything is this, the sun. The sun is the, the sunlight we need to get inside. It's a power source. The plants transform it, they make it into fruit, and then the animals eat the plants, and then you eat the animal. That's why we don't need carnivores, we don't need tigers, we don't need... Uh, Dogs, we don't eat meat inside. <laughs> Outside, you can go do whatever you want. We're in the one of the three locations that we operate. Here is where we do all the experiments of self-sufficiency and sustainability, like uh, natural building, gardening, farming. And this place is kind of a pizza slice of what the mountain site will look like when it's ready. We obviously build our own houses, and uh, we try and find recycled materials. 
So this whole yurt with the deck cost three and a half thousand. Yeah. Let's So this obviously accommodates a ton of people. Yes, 15 people comfortably. The circular structure protects it. So like no matter how strong the wind is, it, it will go around it. It will never push it. The same with the rain, the, the roof is tilted. We've got electricity from solar panels, which we've put up ourselves. We're thinking about building a wind turbine now. The Teletron project, uh, we're working for this. So here there will be privacy. The first and most important thing when it comes to funding is we try and reduce our expenses. We try to bypass money. Of course, not everything can be given or traded or found. So we do host the workshops. We ask for um, a contribution from the participants. However, it's not mandatory. We have estimated that with about 70 or 80,000 euro, we can complete the project building 18 houses, building four domes, filling the lake, planting two more thousand trees. We've already planted 1,000 trees and with the wind turbines. But if we build our own wind turbines, if we find recycled wood, this cost will go down. And this is how we want to do it. We want to avoid money if we can. This is a pod and this is built for privacy. We have uh, a lot of respect for somebody who says, I want to spend some time alone. I want to go read a book. I want to... And you can come and go anytime you want. Of course, yeah. There's no timeline. So we can never be behind schedule because there is no schedule. So you mean somebody has to cook? And somebody has to collect the food? Yeah, of course, somebody will do it. It hasn't happened yet that nobody wants to one day. And this is perhaps the only thing that needs to be done every day. How we make decisions? Decisions are based on a non-assembly method. The method we've devised is the scientific method. Opinions do not matter. What matters is facts. And decisions should be based on facts, not on opinions. What's the kinds of uh, work you do? Lots of farming, lots of building, and we do the workshops which take a lot of work to prepare and then we have a lot of guests and then we have some self-sufficiency products that we make. For example, we make a natural toothpaste, we make natural soap, all the cleansing products like for washing machine and all this. On a rainy day, it's a good opportunity to just relax, read a book, watch a movie, talk to one another uh, on a deeper basis. Are there days that you've been bored? Here? No. Never. Perhaps overstimulation is, a, is an issue. What do you miss the most from your previous life? Just, just my friends and family. I had a job, I was teaching uh, economics and business management to high school students in Athens. Every one of us that is here happens to come here out of a desire to make something new and better uh, rather than uh, despair of I have nowhere to go. Many of the problems of this society are caused by individual actions. So, um, yeah, I came here to, to learn how to live in a different way. We want people to come here to learn, to be inspired and to make something true to each person's heart. We only want to change ourselves, nobody else. Whoever thinks he can change people, he's uh, still very far back. We hope to, to become a global organization. Like when you look down from the mountain, you don't see borders. Mm -hmm.